I don't I don't have cool music like Stevie and all the whole dun, 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 all that sh- bullshit. So I'm just gonna say <laughs> doink and how the fuck are you? It's good Friday. It's a Friday night. Welcome. So uh, it's good to Welcome see you to all. Quagmire. Welcome to the quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> So you got your own music there now. We got our own Play music. Play that every now. fucking week. Sounds like one of them. I won't copyright it. Almost sounds like Dish's boyfriend there, P. Diddy. <laughs> Diddy Diddy. But, P, uh, the, the, the P. Diddler? Yeah, P. Diddler. the P. Diddler. He's a dead luck kid. But, uh, <laughs> so, so as you guys, the, the, the people that are hanging out in the chat room, as you said, I know Shalisa may join us, she may not. Uh, uh, Stevie know, said no. He just got back from up north. He's pooped. I knew. I figured he was up north. The little fucking old bastard. I think, he, I think he's lying. He's a piece, but you know, hey, you know, it's probably it's probably like he promised movie night or something. He's got to watch like Frozen uh, or some yeah. Disney princess movie or something. Little House on the Prairie. Or, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> little House on the Prairie. They got the complete first season oh. on DVD of Little House. Yeah. yeah. It's the fucking Hallmark, fucking the Hallmark channel. Whatever, you know, life's See, just... when you're not here, you get picked on, no matter who you are. Oh, I don't give a fuck who you are. The only person that does not get picked on when she's not here is Dish. <laughs> Anybody else is fair game. Shalisa said they just finished Finding Nemo. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> you just finished Finding Nemo. You know, Disney hasn't put out a good, good one lately. They, they're too woke or something now. They used to have good ones, man. I mean, back when my kids were real little, even before my kids were born, there were movies that I'd like go see with my nieces or nephews or whatever. Uh, Flubber and fucking... I don't know, man. Cars and Turbo and... No, what's the ones way back? Way, way back. When I was well, how far like, back do you want to go? Nine years, when I was nine. Oh, like they when had, you... Well, I mean, like the fucking... Sleeping Beauty and all that, right? No, that not the talking? cartoons. I'm talking about the... like. Sunday night, watch the Sunday night Walt Disney movies. Oh, oh, well, like the world's greatest athlete, the shit the like white that. dude they found in the jungle and they put him on the track team. Shit like Remember that. that? You know, that's the fun shit. You well, know, I got Sunday the night. Disney Channel, Mike. We could we could look at or not the Disney Channel, but the Disney app, uh, Disney Plus, and they got every single one of those old movies. Um, Apple Dumpling Gang, remember them? Yeah. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Um, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. All those old movies are on there. You Disney, can... Gunpowder Beauty says Disney fucking sucks. We switched to the 80s and 90s, and the kids will watch I Love Lucy. Um, I just, I don't, I don't like going to Disney um, because I don't like getting ran over by those blue fucking cards. Um, I'm not a ride guy. I'm a water guy. I'll drive the. I'll ride all the water fucking rides you got. I'll walk through the history, the history of the President's Museum. Big enough. What's that? Epcot. Um, I, that's right. Re- that, no, that's regular Disney. There. That's the it, Magic Kingdom. All right. So I, I, I was fucking almost an hour in that fucking hour and a half in that fucking museum. We the uh, last time we went because my my boys were you know for school they went down there for spring break for the band or whatever because they were in a parade they did parades and yeah. concerts and stuff down there and uh we went down and we took my mom she'd never been to Disney and you know she was kind of excited and we did a lot of things that since my it was my mom's first time because we've been before when the kids were real little and that's that's fucking sucks oh, yeah. trying to drag little kids across disney oh my god yeah. that, it was so terrible i mean and then we stayed we stayed on disney property um yeah. so we were at one of the resorts so you just would catch a bus to the park and ride like a you know ride you know shuttles and stuff our shuttles were never on time they were always late and one night we left the magic kingdom and it was like 12 30 going on one o'clock and a shuttle stud and showed up and this bus drives by and he sees like 50 people standing out on the, you know, empty parking lot at fucking Disney. <laughs> and he drives by and it was said like uh garage repair or something on his bus. Like he was taken out for a test ride. He was a mechanic or something. And he radioed in and he's like, I got all these people. He's like, you know what? He's, he's like, never mind. I'll bring them, you know? And he's like, get on folks. I'll take you back to your hotel. 
And then we went to complain about it, and we got like another free day at Disney. But big, well, I mean, well, not really because that's like fucking a hundred dollars a ticket, you know. So it was, it was just a fucking trip from it's, hell. It's a shit Social. show, and it's uh, yeah, it's a shit. I mean, show. I like to eat. I like all the places you can eat. Um, so that was fun for me. I, but, I tell you what, I do recommend if you are going to Disney, anybody out there going to Disney and you're planning it, you're going to it for a couple of days, buy the meal pass thing if you can, if they still have it. Um, because we always bought that. And that's where you you pick ahead of a time what in and, and you schedule time at the restaurants. Um uh, in the morning you get at your hotel or whatever, yeah, or you first get, come yeah, in, you can get like and, you can get like yeah. a breakfast or whatever, and then you're good for like a like a lunch item, and yeah. then a snack, and a snack could be a pretzel or an ice cream cone or some shit like that. But then you have dinner that's on your ticket, and you know there was there was like six of us, there was like six of us, and we scheduled every day to eat at a certain restaurant that we were there. Like we, and it was all reser- reservations. And all you do is just leave a fucking tip for the waitress because you've already paid for your meal. No matter what you get. Right. I ate steak every fucking night at Disney. Every <laughs> night I had steak. And one night I had steak and lobster. And it was like. I mean, it was, it was cool for me. By the way, folks, hi, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you guys know who Ohio Wolverine is. He's right below me. And, uh, and obviously, you know, who the other beautiful, uh, Dish outdoors is. Um, so it's just, it's the money you got to spend, right? Now, my wife tells me that the, like, the last time I went to Disney, we stayed at the gigantic fucking log cabin thing, whatever the hell it's called. And um, I put my bags on this cot in Boston. You know, all the luggage for me, the kids, the wife, right? Mm-hmm. My in-laws. And the last time I saw them, they were in my fucking hotel room in Florida when I got there. And my wife says, they don't do that anymore. I said, well, fuck it. I ain't fucking doing it. Then. I ain't fucking yeah. going on my own. I mean, but we pay it to our nose to do all that bullshit. But, but, but the was, last, the last was, times we went down, we end up, we usually get like a... We'll go get um, Verbo or Airbnb. Usually Verbo. We like Verbo yeah. better. But we'll get a whole house. Um, we can rent a whole house for a week for right. what you spend for a fucking little ass hotel yeah. room. And right. so, and the house comes with the fucking full kitchen, three or four bedrooms, a pool. A hot dude, I want to go to the campground. Yeah. I want to take my trailer down to the campground and save my own fucking yeah, trailer. Yeah. People do that too, yeah. I can smoke in it. I can do whatever the fuck I want. I can walk around naked. But yeah, it's not. I mean, I staying at fucking Airbnb is not bad, man. Because no. it's like we were like fifteen minute drive from Disney when where we stayed last time, and then we did a lot of stuff. Like there's a place called Downtown Disney, and then there's like a then there's like an area of uh, what's the other park down there? Um, Universal. There's another part. Of, there's I a like part of Universal. Universal. Where it's all like shopping and stuff, and you yeah. don't have to pay to get in. You just walk around, and it's yeah. awesome. You can get anything there that you can get inside the fucking theme park. I kind of liked. I kind of like going, my, getting my fucking Disney cup, and filling up on fucking Pepsi for nothing. Yeah, you know. But, um, but I'm the other thing I didn't had, like about Disney, we had more Disney's... fun when the kids were teenagers than we did when they were little kids. I couldn't smoke. I had a fucking. They only had like fucking four fucking smoking sections for Christ. <laughs> yeah. No, my don't trust me, man. My wife, my wife found them. She knew where they were at. She had them on oh, her I phone. Found them. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I found them. Oh, I did. I went like this. I went. Oh, that's be a right lot. back. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I haven't. I I probably won't go unless the wife says, "Hey, I just want to go me and you." And then you know that, what. Mikey, I'm going to tell you right now, there is no more smoking in the park. They don't have smoking sections because the last time we were down there, I remember my wife had my wife. They had to leave. They had to walk outside of the gates to smoke. You have to be outside the gates to smoke. Not me. Well, you you better smoke wherever you want and just hopefully not get caught. Right. I pretty much do. Yeah. (laughs) I pretty much do. 
because it's not worth it to me not to. I mean, it's, 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 it hurts if I don't, you know, so. And it's but, hurt yeah, but I <laughs> like I said, I recommend staying in an Airbnb or whatever, because you can, you can get one, you can get a full house that fits your whole family and friends or whatever, whoever you're going and you get your own pool and everything. And it's like, especially if you decide you're going to go down for like a week and you're going to just hit like the Disney theme parks and you're only going to go like two of them. Cause that's what we did last time. We like the first time we went down, we went to like four different parks. Yeah. But then and, you got to rent the vehicle and you, you don't have, you got to pay for fucking parking each time you get down. Yeah. Well, you buy the tickets that come with the parking and stuff and then, you know, or you uh, can ride the trams and stuff like that. There's, there's ways to do things. If you just plan it out, just don't wing it and drive down there and try to find a place. It ain't going to happen. Yeah. But, but like the first time we went down, we went to like four different parks and we ate at all the parks and everything. The last time we went down, what we did was we reserved, um, we went to two parks. We went to the main park, which is the magic kingdom. And that's where we took my mom. Yeah. And she wanted, she wanted to go there and that's all she wanted to do. Cause she stayed home. That's because, all the castle, right? That's the one with the castle. With yeah. the fireworks. I every night at nine o'clock. Yeah, every night. Yeah. And then, um, since me and my boys are big into Star Wars, the we went to the the other park we went to was um, no no Universal uh, Disney Studios, and right we barely left the Star Wars part of it the whole time we were there. We we found yeah. stuff to do in the Star Wars stuff the whole time. Just about there's other things to do there. There is, but we mostly stayed in the Star Wars stuff and we had a blast. Um, but we took my mom to the magic kingdom. So we went on like, it's a small world, a little boat ride. It's last right. like five fucking minutes stuff that she, we did all the cheesy stuff that my mom never seen because she'd never been there before, you know, and, and it made her happy, you know? And then yeah. we, then at, at like one o'clock in the afternoon, we had to go out by the castle and sit there and wait for the parade because my sons were in the parade. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. cool. So, I just didn't yeah. like getting spit on by the fucking camel because that's regenerated water and people get <laughs> pissed in it and everything else. And... <laughs> but I tell you what I did like. We ate we ate in Magic Kingdom. We ate in the castle. Wow, what a note that was. And this was shit. The good old <laughs> Brianna was a little I think this cost me somewhere in the vicinity of about fucking six hundred bucks. And that was and that was 2000. Damn. Five, uh, seven, eight. Now, see, was. we. And that cost me. Let me tell you how much money that fight. The, the girls got all made up. Oh, and, you did that. You did like the princess experience thing then, right? Right. But we did that yeah. was a separate charge. That was a separate charge. Oh, yeah. And then we did dinner. And look at my father in law and he goes, I'll tell you what. You wanna... He says, he says, I says, no, I says, I'll give you a, I says, cause, cause it's two years and it's fucking, you know, four of us. So yeah. Well, when we went to the magic kingdom, we, we, we ate the same place every time we go to the magic kingdom and it's, it's a, a family style place, like an old Western or like, it, or Liberty house or something like that. Yeah. And you get like, they bring out a big plate of like Turkey um roast and pork and then a big bowl of mashed potatoes and green beans and salad and rolls and you just you know like you're at home everyone just digs right. in and you put you make your own plate and then you know if you want more they'll bring you more you know like, hey can we get some more mashed potatoes and they'll bring another plate of mashed potatoes out you know right. but then uh but then they bring they bring everybody dessert and they fill your glasses up, whatever you choose, you know, pop, tea, whatever, whatever you choose. And then uh, it's all one bill, you know, and, and it's it's reasonable for what you get. I mean, considering you are at Disney. But the uh, when we were at the uh, um, Hollywood Disney Studios or whatever it is, we made reservations for like Mama Rosa's Italian place and it's like way back in the corner you got to walk down an alleyway to get to it and half the half the um damn uh what are they called exhibits or whatever through the disney you know half of the damn exhibits were closed down this area and we're like man are you sure it's down here and she's like absolutely you know we keep walking and she, my wife's like here it is and i'm like oh okay and you walk in it's just a big huge italian restaurant 
and you you pay one price and it's like this is what you get to pick from here's your entrees you can get this on you know and there's like 10 different entrees you can pick from but everything's you know the same you don't have to worry about you know everything's just one price and everybody eats you know mm-hmm. and they brought out garlic bread salad you know um i got like shrimp like pasta with shrimp or whatever and garlic sauce and all you know scampi. yeah it was delicious and then you know then they bring out like a uh um some type of uh you can either have like some type of uh moose type cake pie type looking thing i don't know what it was or some gelato or something mm-hmm. your choice one or the other or something like that and then you know and it was it was awesome you know and the waiters are real good and everything they're it, 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 that's it's like i said it's it's a good time when the kids are older i would go back with just me and my wife i really would just me yeah, and her. I, I would too. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean i went with my in-laws and we uh let me do this real quick before we get back in but i went with my in-laws and they ran the fucking park it, it was a fucking nightmare. But I'd go back with my wife. Um, dish outdoors is first, ladies and gentlemen. Um, how I am this dish. <laughs> oh, look, there's Jay Watt. <laughs> Jay Watson, 69. How the hell are you? Good to see you. Jezzo, how are you? Everything muddy up there now after all your snow? Good to see it. Mr. Gunpowder Beauty is with us. Uh, you have a you have a link in your in your Facebook box. Uh, Miss Alicia Show says it's a food chat. She ain't coming. <laughs> how are you? What's yeah, it didn't happen? take long to turn that into food chat, did it? Right. <laughs> that went yeah. quick. Uh, multi gumming how the fuck are you? I know I'm late, buddy. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all Dish's fault, so you can actually blame Dish. Yeah, um, yeah. She was she was doing some things off camera that yeah, it's the Michigan people. So all we you could know, do was watch those fucking <laughs> those fucking palm knockers. You know how the palm knockers are, multi. <laughs> right. You can't trust I the fucking dish, palm knocker. Don't do that. I can't watch that. <laughs> I know gunpowder. I was late. I'm sorry. Finding fucking Nemo. Gunpowder says Airbnb is the way to go. Mm-hmm. Way cheaper than hotels, and the kids have their own bedtime with us having to go to bed too. Stump Greenwood, SC. How the fuck are you, Stump? Good to see you. Um, no. Last week we had a sponsor. This week our sponsor is not as fun. It's 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 Herbs, Sarsaparilla, oh, cool. uh, Wild Herbs. Yeah, Wild Herbs, uh, original Sarsaparilla. So I hated that fucking Sarsaparilla. It's not. I don't think it's as good as you know. Fox Cola. Uh, right. I, I took five gummy shit. Now I think I fucking weighed about twenty. Okay, that's fine. Um, but you know, it, I mean, it's, it's Disney. Yeah. I, uh, it, it's how they are. And, uh, it is what it is. The, the trillion yeah. dollars that motherfucker must make is fucking phenomenal. But you ask my kids now though, they would rather go to universe. Like if we go to Florida, they were like, we'd rather go to universal. You know? I want to know how the fuck he doesn't have, they don't have more money than fucking Beso. Basically, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I mean, yeah, they bring in a ton of stuff, but they also are they're paying out a ton too because look at all the employees they got just at the parks and then the hotels and then the resorts. And then you know, then you got your they movie production and your riders, they and your they still don't have as many as Amazon. What as many employers? employers? Yeah, but you got to figure. Look at the people. Certain people work for Disney are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a salary, depending on what their job is. You know what I mean? Not just Disney parks. Just, I'm talking like Disney, like executives behind the scenes, people that work in the movies and stuff like that. Well, you know, so it's just a 
he, they must have fucking money though. Whatever that company is worth. Oh yeah, they got money, but I mean, it's got to be worth at least fucking. Just think, million. just think how big Amazon really is, though. You know what I mean? I mean, Walmart's the biggest, and then it's Amazon's the second biggest, right? When it comes to retailers. Uh, let's look. Let's 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 just Google that real quick. Yeah, I would say Walmart, retail, Walmart, Target, Amazon. Here it is. Walmart is number one. Uh, worldwide retail sales. Uh, six hundred billion. Wow. Amazon is number two at three hundred and forty-three billion. Costco is number three. Believe it or not. Oh wow. Yeah. 217 billion. Uh, Kroger Company is number four at 147 billion. Um, Home Depot is number five, wow. 155 billion. Target is number six at 107 billion. Wow. CBS uh, is seven at 106 billion. Then Walgreens at 116 billion, then Lowe's at 93 billion, and then Albertans companies. Albertans? Did anybody heard? I never heard of Albertans. No. They 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 round up the top ten at 76 billion. Yeah, well, CVS doesn't pay their doesn't pay fucking insurance and shit. They suck. I'm gonna look on here and see if there's any companies that uh, Dollar General is at number 17. Oh, I want to work here. H E butt. <laughs> now, let's see. Dollar Tree's number 20. Macy's 22. Verizon is at 23 and ATT Wireless at 24. Oh, here you go, Dish. Meyer. Oh. At 25. Wow. Okay. Um Tractor Supply, Cole, Riley. That's a Meyer. I like There's no S. Huh? There's no S on Meyer. It's just Meyer. But if you're from <laughs> Michigan, you do say you do. That's say a grocery Meyer. store, right? Yeah, all my aunts and uncles. Yeah, and Walmart's. Walmart. Walmart. I yep. I think we just got one in in Wilmington, Mass. See if there's a, see if there's one in Wilmington, Mass. How do I do it? Is it my see Bass Pro Shop is in at number 60? Is it is it uh is it Maya's or is it something different? I forget. Oh god damn it. Piggly Wiggly is number 79. <laughs> <laughs> Barnes and Nobles rounds out the 100, the top 100. Jesus Christ. Number 95 is the Defense Commissionary Agency. What the fuck is that? We gotta look that up. That don't yeah. that sounds uh, like <laughs> Defense Commissary Agency. Defense Commissary Agency. My commissary awards card in terms of condition apply. Commissary agency. Commissary. It's DOD appropriated. Defense comes in. It's a DOD appropriated. It operates worldwide chain of commissary providing groceries. Oh, okay. So it's the uh, it's the stores for military families. Oh, okay. Like when they when what what do they call it? Though? Do they just call it the commissary? Don't they? I think so. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not military. I I never served, so I'm, I need somebody that might have served. Tell us. I think I, I think most people just call it because my neighbor she's a she's a lieutenant in the in the army. Oh yeah, she got a deal because because when she was promoted to lieutenant, she got some type of loan approval through Ford and got a brand new fucking Ford truck. Oh wow, nice for, for getting for being promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Cool. Yeah, I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, they got like a sweet fucking deal on financing and stuff. They got it for like. Brand new fucking truck for like two seventy nine a month for something. Oh, okay. Like how the fuck can you do? 
Right. Used cars are 500 right now. I know it. Um, yeah, but she goes there like, um, she buys stuff and, um, the one neighbors have her pick up stuff there too. Like cigarette, they smoke. So they, they get cigarettes a little bit cheaper. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. But that's number 95. Wow. You still trying to find that store, Mikey? He's muted. Yeah, it's not my eyes. It's McKinnon's. So, McKinnon's? Okay. Sorry. There's a there's a store you can't wear fucking them. So I was you know. Shelly's Hi. It's me tonight and this two. All right. Oh. <laughs> Hello, honey. Please come. How you, how you doing? What the fuck did I just do to this chat? No, no. <laughs> I don't know what XPO is, but since they are sponsoring Mikey, I'm trying to just boycott of them. Why? Where do you see XPO? Your hat. And... On your, on your. You mean, you mean right there? Yeah. Oh, is, that, right is, there? is that the sponsor of this show now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got, I got sponsors everywhere, kid. I got sponsors everywhere. I'm just fucking tired. And I'm glad you guys could join. Taking my coat off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Glad you did a fired up Friday. Thank you. Fired up Friday. Yeah, well, and I see. And I, this is on my zombie team, man. That was a, I saw that, that I laughed so hard in Ohio when I read that. <laughs> it was just one thing, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, no. I got a video. I got a video on one of my phones or tablets or something okay. of me trying to do it for Mikey one time, and I was out there for like a half hour. I think I what? I turned a whole barrel rod flat on one side. I was striking it so many times trying to get that damn shit to burn. So I got a cheating issue, gasoline. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's what. I, oh, here's some fat wood someone sent me. Blah, 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 blah. Off camera, she's putting lighter fluid on it, you know. And then she did, oh. oh, look at that first try. Fuck that. Get a cheese grid. Listen to me. Get the fat wood. Do what I did. Get some fat wood. Get a cheese grater. Old chicken out on doll store. Get yourself an old cheese grater. And just make Maya dust out of it. I'm thinking, you know what? Shalice sent me all that. It tastes like that. I, fucking... might, I might make one of them because there's an, I got enough. You know, she sent me a big... last because I'm not sending you anymore. I mean, I was up north watching the chat and I saw you like that shit up right in your house, Ohio. So until you grow up a little bit more, I I've know, already, I the only one I think the only there's only a few pieces Where I have. Where was I supposed to go? One, I won't outside. I won't there's one I'm saving. I'm gonna put it in a thing because I can't like this one. I'm saving this for life. Look, look at the shape of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool, so. I mean, come on. This, Excuse this, this me while I whip this fucking... out. Man, you should put some finish on that or some pledge or something. I know. I should do something. But I'm not. It's never getting burned, ever. This is the best invention ever. Whoever oh, made this. Cracker? Oh, my God, yes. No, Unless you know what I want to? That would, I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure this will probably turn into fat wood. It's probably cheap ass pine or something. Balsa <laughs> wood, probably. Bamboo. Mm hmm. That, that's not pine. That's some Chinese junk wood. That's a good fire starting material. <laughs> oh, and it doesn't, doesn't say. It's probably poison. Oh, my back scratcher. I'll be cold. I don't oh, know. if it's bamboo, if it's bamboo, it'll, it'll, you can shave that down. Bamboo is expensive, though, man. Yeah. <sighs> I'm telling you, my back don't my back don't even itch, and I just do it. I'm just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and did you do a video when I missed it? Look, you can you, yeah. can you can use you can use it on your legs when did too. You do a video. What is he doing? Stop! <laughs> I don't want to see that. Hey, <laughs> when did you do a video? I just did a fired up Friday. Today. Today. Yeah. Friday. Yeah, that freaking fire steel right, sparked and it just went woof. I know it was uh, crazy. I was like, awesome. <laughs> she was ready to strike again. And, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
It's that poor this story. Is all, you know, before when, when I would do a video and make a mistake, and I, I was spoken to one time, not in a mean way, in a nice way, about because I went to make Bannock one time. Yeah, and I sucked at it, and I and I and I fucking it just wouldn't come out right, so I, wouldn't, I didn't do the video. And Dish is like, you should have did the video so that people know that it doesn't always come out right, and so yeah. that people don't think that you're fucking um, an expert. You know, like, no, like these assholes. I, well, you know me. I don't. Well, not that, ex right? expert, Except but like expert at everything. You know, like but, you know, there's, but, there's no, never but, any mistakes on your video. Yeah, because things, because things, things go wrong. So. You know, I says, you know, after I thought about it, she says, you're right. You know, I should have, I should have, uh, I should have put the fucking video up and let people know that, you know, some days it is a windy day or you know, some days it's, it is whatever. And it's hot to fucking, yeah. if you're not paying attention, it is going to fucking turn as black as the ace of spades, you know, and uh, it is what it is, you know. Yeah, true, true that. True that. Uh, I don't know if you watch any of my videos. Uh, there's hardly any editing at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, no, I don't. I'm like uh, the, one, the king of the one take. I don't give a fuck. I just, <laughs> it, you know, and I say, I always say, this is going to be a short video. I just want to do a quick video to show you guys something real quick. Blah 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 blah. And then I go to load it. I was like, holy shit! I talked out of my ass for like 13 minutes. That should that video should not be 13 minutes long. Well, let me tell you something. The, the the last famous words were, "This isn't gonna be long." Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ever says? Anybody ever says I'm only gonna be on the phone for a couple of minutes? Liar! <laughs> Anytime you say something like that, it never ever happens. Uh, king of the king of the one takes. Yeah, isn't he though, honey? He is. He's the king of the one takes. He one take it in the mouth. That's about the one take it. The king of the oh, one. Easy now, easy now. I'm just saying. <laughs> this this just this just texted me and said, "Say this." So I said it. <laughs> Yeah. Let me tell you something. Dish has really fast fingers. Let me tell you. Yeah. I didn't even see her look down. So it's like playing the guitar oh. without looking. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You're bringing it up. I got. I got to mention something about some fingers here. Here we go. Oh jeez. Okay. I okay. I work with. Let's just say she's probably. Oh, um, I got a. I got, I got a mute here or something. Um, millenn millenn no, not even a millennial. She's probably what's the next gen, gen Y or Gen Z or something. Because we're like all Gen Xers, so right. Yeah. So she can literally look you in the eye and have a conversation with you, and do this with, and you see her thumbs, and she's oh, just. Wow. And you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, we were going to go to Kings Island or Cedar Point or something like that this summer, blah, 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 blah. And, 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 and she does it. And then she, I was like, are you texting? And she's like, yeah. We had I'm a like, discussion today. Dude, I, I, when I text, it takes, I would, I'm old school. But if you're texting me and, you, and, it, and you're like, I'm, hey, I'm, did I'm, you do this today? How's your day? How's this I going? Blah, blah, blah. Test, but I can call me. Right. No, I'm real old school. If I'm talking to you and you're texting, I don't know the fuck you're looking at me or not. First of all, you better be looking at me when you're talking to me. But yeah, if you're yeah. texting and, and, and I'm fucking talking to you, guess where that phone's going? Right out the window. Right out the window, right? Yeah, but I mean, she, right she can window. take in every single word that you say and she, she can talk to you. Oh, whatever you yeah. are in there. Maybe you But. You know, she's good at multitasking because she's a dispatcher too. So she's, you know, she's oh, always yeah. work. But I think it's, I think it's the, I think it's the uh, age, the age, the generation gap of these. It's amazing what some of these younger kids can do on phones and shit. Or, right. or they, um, they don't know how to do anything else. Yeah. You know, I watch my daughters look as fast. They're like, I'm like, God bless you. I could give two shits less how fast I type. Don't care. Right. I'm so fucking lazy now. I'm just talking to my phone. Then I have to check it to make sure everything's fucking came out right. Because a couple of times it didn't. I look fucking stupid. <laughs> um, but 
but yeah, that's I have to. I, I just I find it easier just to talk into the phone and tell fucking Google, hey Google. Oops, not the not the not the forget it. I was I was talking to somebody. Relax. Cool. All oh, what I just Thanks. said is now God on my fucking Mike. phone. Look at look at it. It's it's typing everything I'm saying. And yeah, you, well, but you just said hey. You just said the hey word and the name of the company. Hey, Google. Stop it. <laughs> hey, Google. How can I help you? How can I help you? How handsome is Mike Delosha? Hey, Google. Now I can't get it out. That's Are you serious? He hey, Google. That's what he said. Where does Dish Outdoors live at? Jesus Christ, their driver of all. Yeah, man. Man, she's got that all jacked up. Oh, how much does Dish Outdoors cost per month? $5 a month. <laughs> well, like 25 trust me, that's, a, that's what it's costing me every way. I <laughs> I won this in a giveaway. Dish. Cool jig. Where's the hook? Yeah. There it is. You want a Bobby doll in the giveaway? No, that. No. Hang on, hang on. I got hang on. this a couple months ago from British Columbia. That's cool. When did Dish Outdoors start? You bought a Bobby doll all the way from Columbia? No. Everybody on Mikey's contact list just takes it and try when he accidentally replies to all. Fact. There was a monthly pool. Dish, dish yeah. I got a lawsuit for you. Oh, how, long yeah. have you been, how long have you been dish outdoors? Since way back? Yeah. yeah because she's, she's you know Dish TV? TV. Yeah. Dish. They have a they, they have a new thing called Dish Outdoors. <laughs> so you can sue them for using I your name. Sue them. Because you've had if you if if you prove that you've had that name longer than they have. Yeah. That's hilarious. And they're even trying to they're trying to bullshit their customers by rot, like stealing shit from you. Cuz it says this package brings you for the for the leading networks in hunting, fishing, natural exploration. <laughs> so, it's like they're stealing right from your channel. I know, bastard. They're all stealing. <laughs> Tell ya. Right. I'm telling you, it's going to hit a hell in a handbasket. Right. I don't know. I mean, it's just. <laughs> then I almost got in trouble at XPO. I walk in and said to the boss, hey, I says, I says, you know, you should have been here yesterday. He says, well, I look like the poster child. This is ahead of. I had XBO shirt on, the pants on, the fucking jacket, the sweatshirt, the hat. It looked like a poster child for XPO. He said, well, what happened today? Because it looks like you fell out of a fucking chimney. And I started laughing. I says, and he, then he says to me, he says, by the way, he says, what did you do to Josh? I says, I didn't touch him. And he says, why? Did you say I beat him up? He says, no. I says, don't tell me he quit. He says, yeah, he quit. I said, oh, thank God. Two down, one to go. <laughs> and uh, he started laughing, you know. I said, you want me to work on that? Or he says, nah. I said, okay. <laughs> well, my dog boss got mad as all fuck. How about I just get rid of you? I said, that ain't going to happen. Dish Outdoors started April 12, 2013. It's almost my anniversary. <laughs> right? Damn. Yeah, you passed your 10 year anniversary. You missed yep. it. You can send all checks payable to uh, <laughs> Mike Delusia. Right. <laughs> hey, did I tell you where Steve picked her up? No. She's a lot lizard. He picked her up in a parking lot. Really? Oh, a lot lizard. <laughs> <laughs> She looks easy with her hand behind her head like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's big old show off, man. Yep. <laughs> Damn. She even I got started. A shirt. 
I started October 13th, 2012. Oh, wow. Do you know when you started, Mike? Uh, 2008. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on my homepage, it says 2008. October, I think. Yeah, and YouTube started 06 or 07. Oh, cool. Yeah. I started Mark. December Mark. of 2015. One year later, I started making videos. Shalisa, you're in charge. Mikey was uh, St. Patrick's Day, 2008. Mine was St. Patty's Day. St. Patty's Day, bro, 2008. Got 94,000 views, Mikey. Do I really? Yeah, 20 of that that came on one fucking chat. Actually, it's 90,092. So I'm telling you, 20 of that came on a chat. And that's when I was out like a light. And then these guys, and I couldn't get back on again. And then uh, it went blank for like seven hours. <laughs> no, not seven hours. <laughs> four hours, anyways. And it was up right back. I need to get another Pepsi. All righty. All right. All right. I have 350,857 views. Cool. Damn. Where's that at? Is that just right below? Okay, let me get to it. Well, you used to be able to go to the About page. Now you just go right, right. where the icon is on the channel, and it's right there. Well, I have to hit go. description of channel, and then... Uh, damn. 2.41K subscribers. I've got... 8,081,008 views. Nice. Damn, I wish that one was an eight. Then it would be all eights instead of... Right? Ace is an eight. <clears throat> Ace is an eight, yeah. That's the dead man's hand, ain't it? Yeah, I... You know what? I can't show it to you because it's a pew-pew. But I can show you a picture of a pew-pew, right? I think so. Silence. That's rare. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I can't find the picture of that video. But I did find this. I look sexy with my glasses on. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I love that. The award winner. Ohio Wolverine. <laughs> Ohio Wolverine. It's new, new, new. Uh, series is fun with the phone. What can we find next? <laughs> what was that? Uh, oh. Uh, this little toddler was trying to put her seat belts on. She had like a five port harness on her car seat. And uh, she was having a little bit of trouble. And her dad's like, honey, you want me to help you? He says, what did she say, honey? Uh, you worry about yourself. I can do this. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. I don't know, I don't know how well you, it will show up, but let me get it. Focused after I belt. Mm, there we go. You see the it's got the aces and eights on the grip of that pistol. Nice. Oh, cool. I don't know if, we, if I can get any closer. Really can't see it, can you? Damn it. No, but that's cool. Yeah, I think the backlighting to your camera don't like it. <clears throat> but it's got like it's got like the skull, and then is it? Let me see. Is it? Uh, He's like that Batman doll with a tiny head. Oh, no, <laughs> it's the way he's so far away from the camera. I'm not yeah, making fun angle. of him like yeah. that. Yeah, his angle right now. Charlie's got a, a 
Batman that's got shoulders like a linebacker, but this teeny tiny little shrunken head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when he opened that thing up and took it out of the package, I was like, what the? Why does he have such it's a It's just tiny... the way you're, you're sitting on the camera there. It looks like you got really broad shoulders and a tiny little baby head. Hey, Dish. Yeah. I forgot oh. to show it in the video. But uh, this ice pick. Oh, that is cool. I uh, I forgot to show it in the video that you can take it out to clean that it is sweet mm. but you can fit it flip it around this way so it's got the o-ring to keep it dry when it's in here and it's got the o-ring to keep it dry oh cool cover up it's the out like that. I, I have a question yeah that would, be, that would be that would be great to have inside like a sheet <laughs> that'd be great to have like a ferro rod to do that yeah yeah well That'd be wonderful. Or you could put it in there and like, especially if you want to put it in a backpack or something, so it would condense it down. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It Let's see if this picture is any better. Well, these are eight dollars. If I can, yeah, I can take the needle out and put a oh, ferro yeah. rod in there instead. We get the lean here. I gotta get the lean. I'm trying, Ohio. Uh no, it's me. Don't worry. There we go. Oh, I can't see it. Man. Yeah, I, I see there it. You go. Cool. Love, yeah, I see it now. Pretty. Cool. Yeah, I could do this with a ferro rod if I could find the parts just a little bit bigger. Right. Oh, they don't make any ferro rods that small. Right. But if I could, I would because that would be badass. Just a little bit bigger. Oh, a little bit bigger is what she said. <laughs> Don't think I've ever said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I bought a vacuum chamber. It's oh, on the yeah. table. We're going to try it out tomorrow and make some more of these. That's sick. That thing's badass. Yeah, you can see the moss and the fat wood and the cones. Oh, my God. God, it's colder than a witch's tit out there. It's cold <laughs> out. Good evening, SKS. You go. SKS. SKS, the hell are you, kid? Wait, since SKS is here, I got to remember what I was showing you guys earlier? Yeah, I need to show Mikey what I got. Like my ice pick, Mikey. In front of Steve, you're gonna do this. <laughs> Where the hell is it at? Hey, on, Ohio. Get in the damn threads. <laughs> you, Mike, you can put oh, it together and stab a bitch, and then turn it back around and hide the blade. Yeah, why? Right. What that? <sighs> I didn't do it. Yeah, salt and pepper shaker. Voila! <laughs> oh, what do you got, Ohio? All right. Here we go. Hang on. Let me uh, blow you up. No, it says I blow you up. Chat right. window yeah. SKS, you go. Fuck. They ain't got nothing on me. I got five years on them. I should get a I should get a patch. Yeah, Mike, but that that was a different that was a different type of group of people, Mike. I don't think you would have been able to hang with us, man. <laughs> Right, Probably Probably not. let him know. Probably let not. him know in the chat. Not my kind of people. My kind of people are, you know, people from Boston, and, you know, people that, you know, <laughs> are nice people, you know. Uh, we we were we were nice to some people. You know what I mean? People like you. Not like not like you, you people. people. Put it this way, I think everybody in the chat window warriors got blocked by the Yankee Marshal. He blocked us all, I think. <laughs> I'm still there. I cut my finger on a Pepsi can. Look at mm, you know. Oh, wow. And uh, I crushed it, and I went to throw it. I'm not a lefty. I stuck my fucking finger right in the fucking hole and went, zing! I went, oh! <laughs> 
Oh, I thought you had a suit against Pepsi, but now that was just your own dumb ass, like right? People in Watertown, absolutely. <laughs> My people in Watertown, kid. I'm telling you. No, I just. Uh, but you gotta remember when I I didn't. K bar user will tell you. I uh. I would watch eight million videos and not, you know. And they used to say, you should do it. No, 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 I ain't doing a video. You know? And uh, but I used to watch people. Oh, it was, it was fun back then. You know? I can take my shoes off now. Oh, poor Steve. Steve, get the fucking glade. Shit. My son's got these chips that smell like. Right. Yeah, you were talking about that last week or whatever, how they smell yeah, like so a bag earlier. What I, uh, <laughs> You were talking about he opened him up in the car last time or whatever when you were in the car. I, hey, when I was when I when I got in trouble um, for my for my DUI and I had to spend a night on a in a six by nine on a metal bed. Um, all I can hear is all night long, and I'm fucking giggling like a schoolgirl. Because <laughs> I had gotten, I had gotten arrested early, early, early in the morning, probably one thirty, two o'clock in the morning, and um, I had been at work while out. I'd been up with boots on, and everything else, since about quarter of five in the morning. So, so they decided they were going to take my shoes, my boots. I, was, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> I said, listen, I says, I'm not going to, you, you know, I'll give you the license, but you don't want me to take my boots off. When you need your boots, I says, I'm telling you, you don't want me to do that. Okay, bro, I'll do, I'll, here you go. Have fun. <laughs> Nasty ass feet. <laughs> Fuck you, Jay Watt. Listen to me. <laughs> I didn't even know she did one. I didn't get a notification, and I've been at work since fucking whatever six thirty this morning. You know, I just got right. back. I fucking stuffed my face, said hello to my three daughters because my my third daughter's here. So I said hello to her. We were talking, jibber jabbering the whole nine. And I said to the wife, "I said I want to do a chat." I says because I want to, and. uh <laughs> So I came down here and I started the thing and I said, Jesus Christ, now you're gonna make fun of me? Fuck you in the horse you're running on. <laughs> and besides, listen to me closely. <laughs> this is not gonna remember who made the first comment on her video. But I guarantee you she'll remember the last one. <laughs> okay. So I don't want to hear it. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure she remembers my comment. Um, I, listen, listen to me. <laughs> listen to me closely, fucker. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <clears throat> Dish knows that I'm going to watch her video. You people. Yeah. Sure. Later. Later. Probably later. And I don't understand why I still didn't get a notification <laughs> either. Like it's on on my phone. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Anywho. Anywho, baseball season started, folks, for those that like the <laughs> baseball. Go oh, Tigers! No. Uh, the Red Sox are playing the Mariners. Do I have that right? Not sure. I don't know who they're playing, but uh, really, I, I like a baseball game, and it don't really matter who's playing. I, just like the I like listening to it on the radio. Yeah. Um, because when I was a kid, and we were up north, um, my grandfather would have it on the radio, yeah. and then if if for whatever reason, I mean, he always had a TV in his bedroom. But some nights he'd just have it on the radio at home. 
And I'd sit in the bedroom with him and listen to the game. And so I find it awfully boring. Now, I went to the World Series game in Boston. So that was kind of fun. And then I also went to the open day after they lost. But um, if it's on a game like that, and Fenway Park's got a lot of nostalgia, okay? I mean, it's been there for fucking ever in a week. But I gotta tell you something. It's like watching turtles fuck. I, I mean, but you know what? I would rather be I would rather be there watching a game live than on TV, though, man. See, yeah, I, don't I, can't stand, that. I can't stand baseball on TV. I'm sorry. Minor league games are fun to go to. Yeah. yeah, they always try to involve the crowd a lot, you know, with fucking shooting t-shirts and shit my, in the crowd and making people is, drawing your my, seat number, making you come down on the field and try to hula hoop in front of everybody and shit. My daughter's <laughs> my daughter's boyfriend pitches for a state school up here, and uh, he got up to ninety two the other day. Not bad for an eighteen year old kid. I don't know. I mean, I, I like it. I just. I really like watching the pitchers. It's amazing to me how yeah. fast these guys can throw accurately. Yeah. I mean, that's an accomplishment. Oh, yeah. I hated it because when I was hitting, um, if, you want, if you want to get me out in whether it was a pickup softball game or when I was a kid playing baseball, all you have to do is, is have your left fielder pack his ass in the line, right on the line. I pull, I have a natural, hello, I have a natural pull, and uh, I have a natural pull. Golf club, hockey puck, doesn't matter what it is. Um, there you go, Mikey. What is that? The Guardians. The Guardians. Oh, that's the new hat. Or you mean, or or the Indians? The Indians. Thank you. Jason Beret from Wilmington is for the. Uh, I don't. Know if, I don't know if he's still with. This, hat, this hat's banned. Can't have this hat. <laughs> I don't know if he's with them or not. Um, I don't know if he's still with them or not. But Jason Beret. I was going to wear this hat, Mikey, if you were going to come to the game, but you never did. You never showed up. Ask uh, Jason. Ask <laughs> hey, ask Google if Jason Beret's still working <clears throat> in league baseball. He was with Cleveland the last time I found out. He was in the office. He was a pitcher. Um, he's from Wilmington. Although his baseball card says he's from Cambridge, you know, he, you know, you know why he's from Cambridge because that's where he was born. Like, literally. He was born in Cambridge Hospital, and then his mother and father took him home to Wilmington. <laughs> right. I mean, I, I was born in Columbus, but I was, you know, you know I was pretty much raised in a little but, town. But, uh, yeah, he pitched. He pitched for the Chicago White Sox. He pitched for the Indians, and I believe he pitched for Cincinnati. Um. Pitching an All Star game, <laughs> so it was kind of cool. But uh, some of the things you can do with that baseball is pretty cool. Yeah, like throw it without making the damn thing spin. Yep. Just the way you hold the ball. Oh, the knuckleball. Yeah. yeah. Tim Wakeman was the best knuckleball pitcher I thought I saw. He was awesome. Now he's. Hey, what the Major League Baseball? There's, he a, just died. there's a lot like the there's so many mistakes on the umpire's part lately. Have you noticed that? I well, mean, they're human beings, so right. But it just seems like their mistakes that they make and their bad calls are just ten times more than they used to be. Though you know what I mean? Did we not notice it because we didn't have fucking computerized shit on the screen yeah. and slow motion and all this stuff, and they we didn't have instant replay all the time, so we didn't they notice it. Think about how many games and years and years and years ago with it before fucking videos and all that bullshit. You know, before the right. 
Everybody and always the, caught the umpire. And the high tech the cameras. The high tech cameras that can you can count the fucking you can count the fucking stitches on the seam of a baseball. Okay, as the pitch is holding in his hand. <clears throat> Think about how many games would have been overturned years ago if they had today's technology. <clears throat> right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, balls and strikes are always going to be balls and strikes are always going to be the discretion of an umpire. It's always it's always going to be the discretion of the umpire, always. Yeah, there's um, been some bad fucking like, like if you watch these replays, and the fucking ball is way out, and they catch it, and they're just like, but the catchers yeah. are getting the catchers are so good at catching the ball now, and bringing that glove in. To act like they cut that's where they caught it. They'll catch it up yeah. here, but then they they move it so quick it looks like they're catching it in the strike zone and they caught it outside the strike but zone. But the ump knows the ump knows where it where it broke or where it caught it. So it's not like I mean I don't ever understand why catchers would do that. Mm -hmm. But because there's there's that there's that chance that yeah. right when the pitch was thrown, the uh umpire glanced over to the third baseman or something you know what i mean and then yeah. when the ball hits the the glove and he really didn't see it and he sees where the glove is at and he calls it then strike you know? well, it's, like, <laughs> it's like ah fuck i didn't see it but it looks like a strike from here it's like people complaining that, it's like them people complaining that they they would steal signs from second base well you know what i i have an issue to start you want to stop stealing signs from second base change your fucking signals <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, but you know what? It, it's a great game. I mean, I love the game, but it's just, like I said, I, I'd rather listen to it on the radio. Yeah. You know, that's a close second for me. I do want to watch it. I mean, I watch the series and all that. Don't misunderstand me, but, um, and it all depends who's now. What I used to do is if I don't like the announcers, I'll turn the fucking volume down on the TV and put the radio on. Yes, that's that's. I think I do that a lot because. You know. Well, you said you said something about going with your grandpa, and it like it yeah, was just like yeah. that's how you grew up. Yeah. Well, every Saturday we would be in Southern Ohio in the woods. You know, my dad and my uncles and stuff cousins we'd all go down there and we'd hunt all you know friday night and come back sunday night hunt almost every weekend and in the fall you, we, you picked up you know you got like two you know two radio stations that came in that ca carried uh marshall university football and then you always no matter where you're at in ohio you can get ohio state football so we'd listen to either marshall or west virginia because we were in southern ohio hunting You'd hear a Marshall game, West Virginia game, and then an Ohio State game every Saturday, you know? Yep. And we listen to it on the radio. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like when I was speaking of Ohio, when I was leaving Ohio with my brother, we were driving home on a Sunday morning, and he says, Hey, he says, see what we can get for football. He says, We're not gonna get the Patriots, but at least we can listen to football. I'm like, okay. We were on the Ohio Pennsylvania uh, border on Route 90. And I got to turn the radio on. And I'm listening to the Patriots game. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Because I got like ESPN or whatever had it on. Yeah. And so, and so I got ESPN. But then I lost it. We lost it when we hit, when we got closer to Buffalo. And then, of course, I picked up the Buffalo game. But yeah. it was just weird. I'll tell you what, though. That Buffalo fucking Bills fucking um, stadium. It's in the middle of fucking nowhere. One of the largest places I've ever been was Joe Lewis Arena. Oh, yeah? The place was huge. The nosebleeds. If you're watching a band, you know, the guys look like they're ants. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I'll be back out in Ohio 
in a couple of years when uh, when Tom Brady goes in the Hall of Fame. Are you going to come to Canton? Yeah, my brothers and I are talking about it. We're talking about the four of us talking about going. Because we didn't go to the, uh, we, was, we were supposed to go to the Army-Navy game because it was here at Gillette Stadium. And we didn't go. I would have loved to run an Army Navy game. That would have been so much fun. You know, bringing up football, I remember as a kid watching like uh, Wide World of Sports or whatever. They yeah, I remember that. I used to love that. And the agony of defeat. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you, you know, back in the day, you you see like a a Green Bay Packers game in the dead of winter. These guys are just covered with with. Uh, snow you know three or four yeah. inches deep on their head and they're wrapped up and they're still sitting there watching the game yeah it's real fans yep. i'm sure they're still like that today but i mean you know even through the winter storms those guys were playing yeah and it gets cold out there in green bay but fuck, <laughs> that's what i say to green bay fans fuck all of them people <laughs> and fucking cheesehead motherfuckers <laughs> to get rid of like the fucking third best quarterback in the fucking NFL ever got these heads and the palm knockers you're just surrounded by wood midwesterners <laughs> I know I got no suddenness tonight though got no suddenness <laughs> well this was a sudden up for years Ohio don't come. Here he goes. <laughs> this was a sudden up for years. I mean, I, I've just got the Appalachian. I just got the Appalachian American uh, bloodline, but I wasn't. Yeah, Billy. That's all yeah, right. I, I spent I spent lots of summers and stuff down there, and I lived there um, for about three months. He's the uh, he's the Whitaker's fucking with my aunt on the other side. <laughs> when I was a kid, but that's about it. You heard about the Whitaker, Steve, right? He's 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 their relative from the other side, right? Oh, but the Hatfields and McCoys. Now, yeah, I am a Hatfield. My mom's a my mom's a Hatfield. So okay, I actually have. Uh, oh. Would that it's be cool? Steve, it doesn't. Doesn't say anywhere on here. Wouldn't that be cool if your wife's maiden name was McCoy? I'd have pissed myself. My uncle, who is a Hatfield, married a McCoy. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that stuff ain't as bad as it used to be. No, no, no. But, I mean, it's... It takes seven generations, they say, for things my, like uh, pass. There's... Some cousins of mine own the Hatfield McCoy Moonshine Distillery, so they run it. There's two of them: one in Northern West Virginia, one in Southern West Virginia, and Ooh. one's a one's actually a winery and stuff. So, have you um, sampled their hooch? What's that? Have you sampled their hooch? Well, I got a bottle of it right here. All right, right on. Yeah, yeah, but Jezzo, you and I are nodding this, Jezzo. But I, I I stayed down there over some summers and lived down there just, you know, like I said, about three months when I was a kid. Um, but I I grew up, there's a lot of things that I did when I was down there that those kids did when they, you know, flooding the creek, making a swimming hole, you know, doing stuff like that. Um, not just, a damn uh, great road anywhere to be seen down there either. What's that? Not a straight road to be seen down there either. No, no, you get a straight stretch, and it's only about maybe a hundred yards to most. Some of them, but that's when you, that's when you pass the coal truck. You get that straight stretch, and you get about a hundred yards past that coal truck. As long as nothing else is coming around the mountain. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, we, you know, I, that's where I learned to ride horses and you know do stuff like that. Was all down there, and. uh 
crazy stuff, you know, and I hate snakes. And my cousins would always go out looking for fucking rattlesnakes and copperheads. And I knew. <laughs> there, are just as many, there are just as many outdoorsmen down there than there is up here. Yeah. Everybody's in oh, like, yeah. fishing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know how many nights that, you know, I spent down in West Virginia on this riverbank. You know, and these are the old days. <laughs> They'd take a fucking tire and burn a tire all night on the bank of a river. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd burn a whole fucking, they'd burn a tire and, you know. They used the black smoke and bad smells or something? Oh, uh, it just keeps, just keeps the bank lit all night, like, like on a beach or whatever, the bank on the beach, That's then you can't fit all night. Yeah. And you don't have to keep feeding <laughs> with, with wood and just. Not very good. And I don't even know nobody back then. Shit, my grandfather dumped, uh, dug a great big huge hole and then put trash in it and filled it in like he was like a mini landfill. Yeah, so, yeah, so, we did that. Like I grew up, we had like sixteen acres of property, and then the very back was the was the burn pit, the burn pile. Right. You'd haul the trash back there and burn it, and every few years it'd pile up so high. Then they'd get somebody to come out with a bulldozer or whatever, or you know, scoop and dig a hole and push it in there and cover it up. And then we'd start a new pile, you know, a hundred yards over the other side. We probably did that probably three times in the in the like seventeen years that I lived there. Right. Certain things just has to be done. Country living's different than you know. Especially if you don't have trash servers, because there's a lot of places down right. there you can't get to. Yeah, we we didn't have trash service uh, for years, and then, God, you know, I I don't know what was worse, hauling trash out. Just I don't know what it was, but my mom worked at a IGA. I think you guys have talked. You know what those are? The grocery stores, and we used to buy a big like a box. It, it ripped the package open. It was just books of matches. You know what I mean? Like you buy books of matches by how, like a little box. And that's what I had to use to start the trash fire. Was a I get get a pack of matches. They wouldn't. I didn't get a lighter or anything like that. So I go. I'd be out there in the fucking wind trying to <laughs> light a match and <laughs> like. And and I think that's where that is where my hatred of coffee grounds came from because they throw coffee grounds in the trash and then yeah. it would make everything damp and you couldn't light the fucking trash back on fire. Yeah, <laughs> wood in a fair ride, man. Uh, he's talking about yeah. kid, he? <laughs> I sent him something too late. He needs some yeah. You'd have to send that to me 40 years ago. <laughs> I would appreciate it back then. <laughs> Well, yeah, I'll tell you what. Down for you, send you big bag <laughs> But man, I don't know what was worse is is when we started getting trash service because we lived way way off the road. Our driveway was like fucking. I think it was over uh, what nine hundred yards or something like that. Fucking driveway or nine hundred, maybe nine hundred feet. I can't remember. It was it was a pain in the ass when you were late for school and the bus pulled up and you had to run down it and get on the bus. <laughs> but you what was worse? I don't know what was worse trying to start that trash bag on fire with matches and the wind and fucking rain and shit yeah. or dragging yeah. all those cans down to the end of the driveway because <laughs> are those your homemade <laughs> no matches that you no. use nail polish? No, these are the actual oh, that's the ones oh, the, the windproof the waterproof ones. ones. Yeah, I'm trying to rotate stock so I can uh, fill the container. So I got them out and I'm playing with them every once in a while. Uh oh, we're busted. Busted. I didn't say anything about you while you were gone. <laughs> yeah, be quiet. Here she comes. Busted. You're all busted. <laughs> Jesus, woman, will you put some clothes on? Gosh, I want to chat. <laughs> you must keep it all warm in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just Looks like it. Heat is on. <laughs> I make sure I'm heat. What are you throwing at me? Whatever she wants, leave her alone. 
tell him. You tell him. Might yet. <laughs> it was a good week. I had her almost trained, and then no, you, you go didn't. and. There's no, there's not trained. Anybody. Trained. This is quiet when you came in. We're watching you change your clothes. Kind of, see that on that bowl? That What's sleeve that? was in the bottom of the shock where the bowl goes through the sleeve. It's rust welded on the daggone thing, so now I gotta go buy one tomorrow. Working on a car? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make small talk. Small talk. I did today. It's better than talking about food. That's what you're doing tomorrow. Oh, you mentioned it. It's your fault now, sweetheart. No, I think this was a food chat long before she came on. <laughs> she doesn't know that. <laughs> She's the one who mentioned in the comments. She was like, it's a food from Michigan. Chat they don't know nothing. They forget their names after, you after they tell it to you. Speaking of food, the overcooked cake is not terrible. Oh, the overcooked cake is not terrible. There's a, there was two cakes made tonight. One was overdone, so that another one was made to replace it. So... There's a whole cake to eat tonight, and then we're going to have a cake for tomorrow to eat, too. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. <laughs> That's a lot of cake. Mm, cake. cake. Well, <laughs> the cake tomorrow will be gone. Yeah, the cake tomorrow will be gone. There's a bunch of people. It's, it's for a birthday. I saw a meme a couple of years back on Facebook, and it was a, a protest scene. And people were, you know, had their signs, and one guy had a had a cardboard paper, you know, a cardboard sign that said, "I was told there'd be cake." Oh. <laughs> he didn't give a shit about what was going on. He right, just, just so there's probably, cake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that movie Office Space does that. Where Mil that's his name's good. Milton, and they're and like. They go to hand him a piece of cake, and he picks the fork, and they're like, now Milton, pass it along so everyone gets a piece. He's like, yeah, but, but last time we knew, you know, he talked real quiet, but I didn't get, he didn't get a piece of cake last time. And we need, they're like, they pass it along, and they keep passing along. And then the lady that tells him to pass it along, when the last piece comes around, she keeps it. And then oh, Dick no. Vince eats it, so he's left there with nothing, and he's like, I didn't get cake. I'm going to I can burn this building down anytime. <laughs> you know, like, Poor guy. If you've never seen Office Space, it's a movie you have to watch. I would think it is good. Oh my God. Poor. You know what's funny? Is my wife, when she worked at the Red Cross, she told me, she's like, You're not going to believe we have a guy, we have Milton here in the office and i was like no way so i went to have lunch with her or something one day and she's like let's go see milton <laughs> I'm like, okay. so we walk down the hallway we turn the corner we get on an elevator and we go to the basement i'm like there's no way his desk is in the basement and it's right there in the hallway in the basement when the elevator door opens <laughs> they push him in the basement just like milton and this <laughs> dude looked just like milton i swear oh. to god and, and my wife's like, this is, you know, I forget what his real name was. He's like, hey, nice to meet you. And he sounded just like him, too. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> and then as we're walking away, my wife goes, see the stapler? He's got the fucking sling line stapler on his desk, just like the guy in the movie. I was like, no way. Boss She's probably, like, yeah. whoever hired him, thought the same thing about him. and Probably. Him oh, I got to hire this guy just for to have somebody to look at for at work. <laughs> In the office, someone to visit in the basement. Yeah, we're gonna need you to move your desk back another 13 feet. Yeah, <laughs> he ends up in a closet, doesn't he? Well, he ends up like in the basement, and then they shut the lights off on him. There's no lights down there, and he's like, Hey, right. uh, you know, that's when he's like, I'm I'm i burning the place down. You know, <laughs> he keeps the young team saying that throughout the whole movie. You be able to see get fire going. And then they're like, we're going to go ahead and fill that cubicle. Because they were like, if you leave, we need to move out of this cubicle because we need to fill it with 
some type of files or whatever. Mikey looks like one of them crackheads on the sidewalk in Philadelphia. <laughs> I think he finally passed out. Mike, he's, are you awake? He sleeps like a crackhead on the sidewalk. He, like he's been on, like he's, whatever they're on, those drugs that they're on where they just stand there and look like zombies. That's what their faces look like. Yeah, he, like he had a muscle relaxer. He might have. He just wanted to get chill. According to him, you can't wake him up. I don't know. Come here. Look at this. Come here. Mikey. You okay, there. there you go. You want to call it, Mikey? Where's the... Uh... Uh, we if I try to get those from underneath this desk, you know what's going to happen to me? I just noticed my poker chips in my case is underneath my desk. There was a Milton joke there, but that was nice. Right. You were talking about being behind your desk. I'm being nice. I'm like Ohio. He's trying to fire <laughs> me away. There's what? no way I'm going to be able to do that. I just I just Stir the pot. <laughs> don't, 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 don't mess with me, Steve. I'll burn this chat down. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about Milton that you used to work with. You know, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Mike, she said. Mike. I can't believe they moved him like to the other building in the hallway, in the basement, in a cubicle. <laughs> yeah. So his name, oh his name God. was Mike. So he was godlike too. <laughs> All yeah. Mike's go to heaven. Wasn't he even asking about the stapler when I went? No, you pointed the stapler because he had the stapler on his desk, oh, and yeah. we were walking away. And you're like, he even has the stapler. <laughs> 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 My thing was when she introduced me to him, the way he was like, nice to meet you. He sounded just like fucking Milton from Office Space. And he looked like him, too. Had the glasses, the short sleeve shirt with the shirt tucked in, and the real short tie. Real short tie, you know? You know, I saw the I saw the fucking pilot for The Office, and I hated it. I never watched it after that. <laughs> well, that's the Office, the TV show. We're talking about Office Space, the movie. Wow. It's called Office Space. It's different. Yeah. Different company. Let's see if was we have Dunder that Mifflin? one. Was in the other one? Dinder Mufflin? Or Dinder I thought Dinder you Mifflin. said Dirk, Dirk Diggler. <laughs> Dirkler Mifflin or whatever is the paper company in the office. Office Space was, uh, what was the name? Intertech. And the one, the one receptionist, his desk was right next to the receptionist who would answer the phone. Thank you for calling Interdict. Please hold. Thank you for calling Interdict. Please hold. Thank you for calling Interdict. Please hold. Like, that would be yeah. annoying as fuck to have. I'm going to need you to work. This oh, you got to have Cinemax or Max, whatever they call it. Booba Max. Skinemax. I, I, think, I think Office Space is on YouTube, to be honest with you. I'm on YouTube. It says watch Max. If I could get them all on the same page, that'd be great. I have, uh, I pay for Paramount and any movies made by Paramount I get for free. Yeah. But I'm not going to pay for Paramount and Cinemax and Netflix right. Right. and ABC and NBC and all that. We have, we have Netflix. We had Netflix first and then uh, when when the Mandalorian was coming out, I, I was like, we got to get Disney Plus. <laughs> so we got the Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN like package because it was cheaper to get the package at that at that time. And then uh, we have family that have other things, so we barter. We barter. We barter passwords. <laughs> cool, good idea. So yeah, so I have. You know, I can watch anything on that HBO Max or whatever because we that and we have free ones too, don't we? When we have a bunch of free stuff loaded, like Tubi or Peak, you know, yes. 
freebie and freebie and tubi and now there's another one that i loaded but it sucks it's terrible I'm getting rid of it like noka or something like that uh. hey gun potter the character you're thinking of in trailer park boys is bubbles bubbles yeah he's got really thick glasses too and really thick glasses he likes liquor what was the uh, well, I can't. Well, there was something with bubbles. Powerpuff girls. You back with us, Mike? No, I've been here. I just can't fucking. Oh. Can't keep your eyes open? No, not even that. I don't give a fuck about that. It's my back is more than you know. <clears throat> Yeah, he likes kitties. Cats. He lives in his little shed, storage shed. <laughs> this used to be right outside the stock of Steve's. And full of kitties. Bubbles, bubbles plays on yeah. kitties. Dish, dish can't stand cats. She hates them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bumper sticker on the back of Dish's truck. It says, I love cats. Dot dot dot. Dead ones. <laughs> I love cats. Run over. That's not true. Dish used to have a cat like on her chat all the time. She used to stick his pepperoni in the camera. <laughs> huh? That cat used to raise his tail and stick its butthole right in the camera. It probably that was cricket. That was cricket. I was watching some stupid video where the mom told the kid to scratch the cat on his butt. To scratch him on his butt. She started scratching the butthole under the table. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. You know what's worse than having a, your, a bunch of ants in your pants? Having them in your socks? Having a bunch of uncles in your pants. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wow, those dad jokes just fucking rolling right off your shoulder. Really? I'm waiting for Steve's dad joke. Uh, oh. I haven't I haven't stolen in any in a while. Okay. I got a book. I'm a plagiarist when it comes to jokes. Yeah. Stealing it from somebody else. Like Carlos Mencia. Yeah, he used to steal all kinds of material from people. What what's What's funny is like Comedy Central used to show yeah. like stand up comedy almost like 24 7. People you never even heard of. Do you remember those days on Comedy Central? Yeah, I miss those days. Yeah. But then you get these big comic people and they start, they start, you know, stealing people's acts from like the late 70s and early 80s. And you're like, wait a minute, I've heard that joke before. And then you find out it was, you know, some dude in, on the improv stage. Back in like nineteen, you know, eighty-five, that this new comedian stealing all their fucking jokes. Well, the uh, Joe Rogan called them out live on his uh, on his gig. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing that. Seeing that uh, on YouTube. I think Joe Rogan's kind of cool. I like. He is. He's a badass. He's, he's a gorilla. I watch him on YouTube. I watched I watched the Truth versus Alex Jones on HBO Max the other night. Yeah. And let me tell you, man. There's an oxymoron for you. I well, it's it's about the lawsuits or whatever that he No, I'm just saying it's an oxymoron the title because you get the word truth mixed with Alex Jones. It's just not it's just kind of funny. Well, but not always, because some of the things he said did come true, so you can't fault him for everything. But I will tell you right now, I did not know the extent of what he did when it come to that Sandy Hook stuff, you know? like Because I was always like, I don't care. Anyone can say whatever they want. It's freedom of speech in this country, blah, blah, blah. You know, you can say what you want. But I never watched Alex Jones like 
on YouTube and stuff and when he did his shows and stuff like so I don't know the extent but they showed a bunch of clips and some of the stuff he said and it's not just what he thinks it was what he portrayed as the truth and some of the things that he said that these parents were doing and stuff and I was to, to tell you the truth now it's, this documentary was probably made to make you think that Alex Jones is a piece of shit it's probably geared that way I understand that and if any of the stuff that they said that he did is actual the truth, then fuck him. You know what I mean? What he did to some of these parents. But uh, hearing their stories and going through and what they went through and certain things. and uh, Because they, they showed how many people, like in recent polls and stuff, believe that Sandy Hook is absolutely 100% fake and the parents were all actors is like 24% of Americans. That's a quarter of Americans think that that shit didn't even happen. Right. Because they watch videos of Alex Jones and stuff. And then they were talking like, one lady said that she was like at the gas station. And somebody was like, you know, where's your son at? I know he's still alive. You fucking actor and all that. You know, you're just an actor. (laughs) Government this and and then the one guy said that somebody knocked on their door, like tried to push their way in. Like, where's he at? We know he's still alive. Let's see him. We know you're hiding, you know? Like wow. parents have to deal with that type of shit because of this. So, like I said, I, I, I'm i 100% for freedom of speech and everything. But when you got an audience that you're pushing so much untruth, like, like Mike said, oxymoron when you mention Alex Jones and the word truth, but yeah, definitely on this it was, I recommend it if you can, if you can uh, if you get a chance to see it watch it and see if you come out of it the same way I did I'll, I'll ask this, She'll, she might let me watch it <laughs> well you know, uh, having these freedoms, it's just like having a firearm, it has responsibilities behind it sure Yep. Unfortunately, people don't look at it like that. Yeah, the world would be a much better place and everybody mind yeah. their own damn business and uh, take responsibility every once in a while. It's just accountability is all you want. You know, it's like I'm not looking for uh, a mod or I'm not looking for, you know. I'm just looking for. Regular people. <laughs> Rita. <laughs> Trying to get it out of my face. She likes to give me tails sometimes. <laughs> right in the face, too. <laughs> she had to annoy me before she sat down. <laughs> Jay Watt. Yeah, and he's, he always brings that shit up with Mike. Yeah. <laughs> what is this whole Watertown thing? Fill me in, guys. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Grab a drink and pull up some popcorn. Here's, here's the, here's the uh, cliff notes. <laughs> uh, remember the Boston bombings at the Boston at the Marathon bombings? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When they shot the boat that the fucking Gilligan was in. Yeah. Okay. That was in the city of Watertown. Okay. And from that point on, Jay Watt just doesn't let go. Yeah. And so I was. You got to go back to your views on. Jay watch views and your views on so, right. So they watch, going door to door and searching everyone's house. So they're going, house. they're going door to door searching everybody. They're not in martial law, but they're in martial law. Okay, so they're going door to door and they're searching people's houses for this guy. Now, not one person that had anything illegal in their house was arrested or anything like that. Okay, all they wanted was this kid. That's all they wanted. So there were some homeowners that were a little upset. Some of them didn't give a shit. Yeah, come right on in. Do what you got to do. So Jay Watt and I went back and forth on it. And 
Not just Jaywalk, by the way. There's a few people that a few people that didn't understand how I could say that it was okay and as well. And I've said it eight million times. You know, if uh we have you know, we have the uh, Miranda warnings, right? The the Miranda rights, right? So, you know, in in that it says, you know, you have the right to remain silent. I have this belief that says if we have rights and they're my rights, I have the choice if I want to give them up or not. So if I allow somebody to search my home, that's my right. So Jay Watt and a few others don't really see it that way. Okay. But which is fine. I get it. You know, I, I respect their opinion. Um, so anyways, anytime Jay Watt wants to break balls, he just writes the town water town. Doesn't even, the, the sentence doesn't even have to make sense. It's just that he got the town, the, the name of the town of water town in there. And... <laughs> it's just, a, it's just a thing in history. And you know what? You put RTT in the chat and the same thing would happen too. If you mentioned water town. Yeah. We it, it was something we all talked about a lot back then. You know what I mean? And, uh, and, and everybody, th I think everybody had a different opinion. And I wouldn't watch it. You know, I wouldn't. I, I'd go to chats and and people would be like, "Oh, you can't." You know, you can't look that up me because they're close. And I go, I just don't see why I can't look at it objectively. I said, but that's fine. I just. uh it is what it is. I'm going to have to agree with you, Mike. I mean, it is what it is. It's your opportunity to do with your rights what you want to do with them. Exactly, they're mine. I can I can give them up anytime I want. Uh, and I don't mean give them up like you know, leave the country. I'm giving them up as in, oh, you want to search my vehicle? Go ahead. Oh, you want to go ahead? You want to do? It? Go ahead. Or I can say, ah, go fuck yourself. No, that ain't gonna happen today. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> like I said, some people don't don't look at it that way, which is fine. Right, just like he just like he said, he said door to door warrantless searches at gunpoint is not okay to me, and I agree with that too. You know, no, I understand. Um, but. <laughs> It, are there videos of people refusing to let them search and then just moving on, or did they? That they I don't know. Or they? Know. I know they pulled one family out of gunpoint and made them all stand in the yard with their hand on their heads while they shot, where they where they uh, searched the house. And then they came out because I remember seeing that video. And then they came out and they with nothing. They didn't find anything. And they were like, "All right, you're good to go back in." And they just walked away like nothing fucking happened. But I would be a little upset if you pulled me out in my front yard in my underwear with my hands on my head, you know. <laughs> I don't think I came back that way that night. Nice. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I did it. Awesome. Fix my glasses. Mikey almost convinced me that Watertown was all voluntary and not de facto martial law. Almost. Listen, you didn't have to. You could have locked your door. Um, I don't know. They were not consensual searches. They were forced. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a lot of videos where they didn't give people a chance to say no. They just told them come on outside is there any, then it'd be anybody else in the house with you and they'd be like no and then they'd go in and search and they come back out so i've seen plenty of videos like and then another one that i didn't like is when they were driving like the swat vehicle down the middle of the road and all the officers were standing around it and the guy with like the, the gun on top of it got, you know people were like videoing video or whatever and then they would aim the gun at them and then yell at them to get their head back in the window and stuff like that and it's just like you know yeah that's you know you're pointing a gun at someone's house and yelling at them and then someone said you know yeah but any of those windows could have been a sniper 
trying to shoot them and they were just defending themselves and they were afraid. I'm like, well, maybe, maybe not point guns at fucking people's houses. You want to worry about having somebody, you know, try to shoot you or I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel on that. You know, it's like if you're that afraid, maybe that's not the right job for you or something. I don't know. Uh, Gunpowder says it's who's to say they they won't create something to be like nope we're gonna search don't need a warrant for some later on. because I know Gunpowder not one person was arrested for anything other than you know yeah but I mean it, you know what though it, I think things would have been totally different if they would have went house to house looking for this guy and then next thing you know you got a bunch of people in handcuffs going to jail because they found a bong on the table or they found a uh, gun or something that wasn't supposed to be in the house or something you know what I mean I think yeah. it would have been different if, if they would have did stuff like that but you know they overlooked they probably overlooked a lot of things because on average most people don't have anything in their house that you should worry about but you know, when you have a house that's being rented out by four dudes, and you know what I mean, they're going to college yeah. down the street. There's probably a bunch of shit in that house that could all go to jail for. But you know, yep. There you go. I would click on one of those. I'm quite sure it's gonna be Watertown, Stevie. Um. Yeah, I get. It. I just didn't know if it was like a. Uh, rivalry of some sort. Oh, in that, the the image link that he showed is the is the Humvee with the guy with the rifle pointed at the window. He was right on top of that. Yeah, that's the one I was yeah. talking about. He came in this morning with his with his. Wife or something, right? Is that the tall kid? He's another one that doesn't believe in that, which is fine. We, we had this discussion the other day about it. I uh, mean, this kid. Um, I told him. All right. The... It's conspiracy corner time. Let's get everyone's opinion. What about the bridge in Maryland, in Baltimore? So. At first glance, yes, I'm going to admit, I, I turned it to Alex Jones for a millisecond. So now the barge hits it. Their crews are already working on it. I don't know, I can the see it road crew on the bridge were filling potholes, yeah. I can see it happening. There's a guy on like TikTok that was like showing in slow motion and like showing all the like low he called them explosions because he's like you know why did this bridge fall apart so quick when you can see all the implosions or you know that they blew it up on purpose and stuff and i'm thinking right. to myself you know at first you're like shit you do see these flashes you know and you're like are those explosions but then i was like you know all these bridges have like electric wires run through them you know yep uh, and when when you snap an electric wire into what's going to happen? It zaps. Sparks are, sparks are going to fly, right? Usually, I would imagine. I don't know. I'm not an expert, but right. Well, I've seen something like that happen, and usually sparks fly a little bit. So maybe those are just sparks flying, and not implosions. And then they were like, you know, people. A lot of people are saying, you know, eh, they, they there was nobody on the bridge except for the workers. How did they stop all the traffic? Because there was a mayday that went out. They did a lot of things right. They dropped anchor and yelled Mayday on the radio and was able to shut traffic down over the bridge. Except for they didn't couldn't get those workers off in time. The only thing well, I can tell <coughs> about the situation is that <clears throat> when the computers go down, there's still the backup, the redundancy backup of being able to do things analog wise. To keep things Are oh, you talking going. like on the ship when the ship all the lights went out and everything and the motors went shut down? Yeah. 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 yeah I, I don't know, man. I don't know enough about those ships to, you know, 
And I watched another guy who said, you, you see the lights go out and then you see the lights come back on. And then you see all the heavy smoke from the stack on the ship. He's saying that's where they're burning a lot of diesel. That's where they're like giving it like all the gas or something, or it's dirty or something. You know, he's like that, that smoke is not normal. They don't, it's not that black of smoke normally. So they're either giving it all she got to try to reverse or so he, he's like, I don't know what they're doing, but he pointed that out. So I don't know if anyone knows anything about that, but I just think it was an accident. I don't think everything that happens in this world is a freaking false flag event. You know what I mean? I think that guy is just a derelict that needs to be uh, caught up on charges manslaughter. They kept him. Because ultimately, it was his, his ship. It was his baby. He was in control of that thing. Well, you know what, what kills me the most is Joe Biden trying to go after votes, saying that the government's going to pay for all this and, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to rebuild right away. Yeah, but he knows that isn't true, though. But but why is he saying it? Why is he saying it? Why, why would you say that the government, it's not the, why don't, why, you know, if you really want to get the American people to get behind you on something, you say, hey, this is going to be a lot of money to fix. Right. And if you're thinking it's going to be because of your tax dollars, you're wrong. If we're going to make the insurance company of this ship pay for it, this should be an insurance claim. The ship, the the ship company, and the insurance, their insurance company should be paying to rebuild this bridge. That's what I would say. But I'm not smart enough to run for office. I don't know. Do you think? I mean, you don't have to be that smart, do you? I mean, look at our president now. Right. They just <laughs> automatically start kissing the ass. They don't care. Yeah. It's too bad. You're just battery, looking for those more votes right away. But, all, but saying that, if people think like I do, if there's anybody else there that thinks like I do, you know, that's fine. You say that you're going to have the federal government pay for it, but that's my tax dollars. I don't want my tax dollars paying for that when somebody else should be that's responsible for it. I understand that. I get it. It, I, wasn't, it wasn't my boat that ran into the... <laughs> yeah. Right. We keep letting these companies do stuff, and they, you know, and they're backed by insurance companies, but yet they still want to pull tax dollars to fix everything in this country when something goes wrong, and these companies do something that they're liable for. Well, maybe that ship is too big to fail. Mikey, what? <laughs> Mikey's right here. It's twelve thirty, Mike. If you want to call it. Yeah, I gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know you're in pain. You're. What was it His that? hair is blowing so prettily. I know. <laughs> Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Be <laughs> the shampoo commercials would do that. All the models where their hairs blow. <laughs> it was it was that redheaded girl from uh, the movie Woman in Red too. <laughs> Mary Fossa had a good hair twirl in slow motion. Jay Watt says the NTSB ha has said they have the uh, data from the bridge of the ship. Okay. It will show everything that happened. They know right now what happened. If the data disappears, that would be bad. All right, listen. That was yeah, That was a terrible. Uh, that was terrible. If that happened. Anyways, we're going to add it, guys. By the way, I'm not going to go back to the thing. I'm going to exit right out of here. Okay. Um, but we're going to get out of here. Uh, I don't know what Steve's going to do once more. I don't know. I'm doing Sunday. And, cool. and, this, and Miss Shalisa Shaw is doing hers on Easter Sunday. So. Late night. What time are you doing yours? Probably 8 or 9. Eight Eight time, which is five o'clock Pacific. Oh, right after you wake up from Easter dinner nap. Exactly. <laughs> nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, folks, we're out of here. Enjoy. Thanks for coming. Night, guys. Day. I'll see you all later. Night, everybody. Night, day what?